What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Chucky Season 2 in this video here again today. So production did get did indeed start on this date. I know I did some videos in the past where I said the production will be starting between the dates of April 20th to the 28th because that's what I was told and that's what I got sent over to me was allowed to gain access to but it indeed did start today and Devin Sawa who you know starred in the original season as the father of Jake and also the father of Junior both characters unfortunately met their demise and as it pertains to him he was the one who kind of let us know that this might be happening because he tweeted out last night on the 19th that my view is I wish the season one surviving cast of Chucky good luck while starting episode one up in Toronto in a freaking snowstorm he tagged Zachary Arthur uh he tagged Chucky tagged Jennifer Tilly he tagged Don Mancini he tagged Bajorvin in it so this lets us know that those individuals will indeed be back and then the rap today reported that production did indeed go go forward and it started it's now underway brad dorf will be back to voice chucky of course and zachary arthur will be back as jake wheeler but jorvin art or narson is back as devin evans olivia allen lynn is back as lexi cross alex vincent will return as andy barkley uh barbara allen woods will return as mayor mayor michelle cross we know is the father of um lexi or no the, the mother i meant to say of lexi and here's a surprising one now this doesn't mean of course that the character is alive but it says here christina lease will return as kyle now here's my thing with that if she's returning as kyle i already know most people are going to say oh this means she survived and it doesn't really mean that but i think the the fact of the matter is i me personally i do think that that's what the direction will be they're gonna say that no one actually got injured in that in that in that fire or that explosion and again i'm i i was talking about this in my other chucky videos it's gonna be a moment where i'm just like okay well you shouldn't have had that happen if nobody ultimately got injured or ultimately died if there was no loss that occurred there the scene was just an emotional moment just for the sake of shock factor Honestly, that's all it's going to be reduced to. It's a meaningless scene at this point, in my opinion. Um, I'm happy that everyone would be alive, of course, because I love the characters. But when you're when you're doing things a certain way, they need to be done in the sense of not everything needs to be a fake out for no reason. Just for the sake of saying, oh, I want to get my audience concerned about these characters, ultimately to find out that, hey, yeah, they didn't die. They didn't get injured at all. They're they're alive. Everyone's fine. But whatever. Christina Lee, if she's back and Kyle's alive, so be it. And I'm assuming she'll go out of her way to find Andy and help him with this Tiffany doll. And again, I, I, I just can't wait to see what goes down with that Tiffany doll and Andy Barkley. Can't wait to see if they flesh that out a little bit more. Can't wait to see if Andy actually manages to kill the doll. I think that might be what happens very early on in the season. Not necessarily saying that's where the season will pick up. I think there might be a, a minor time jump, maybe a couple months, couple weeks, uh, and then maybe some flashbacks along the way will be revealed in the initial episode, showing us what went on while Chucky, well not Chucky, but while the Tiffany doll was in the back of that truck with the Chucky dolls while Andy was driving it and what they went into. Maybe an alliance has been formed out of blackmail. Maybe this is how we end up getting Detective Norris back and getting Karen back because of something with Andy and how they're threatening his parents, I guess I'll say, and him not wanting them to get hurt. Uh, so he's going along with whatever they are asking of him and helping them deliver these Chucky dolls around the country because we know the, the end game it seems for Chucky was to have a, con a mass control takeover of the states with these dolls spread out everywhere. So as it pertains to other things we could see in the season, we know that the costume designer, I follow her on Instagram and I'll leave a link to her uh, Instagram page in the description. She posted an image recently, like earlier last week sometime, and it seems like they might have a lot of new looks coming for Chucky. Um, not necessarily sure if this is going to be related to, like, you know, the more more of the looks like the Two-Face look and burn, burn look or anything like that, but maybe mostly to do with his clothes, perhaps, because the, the unique looks we get of Chucky, they never fail to surprise me in the sense that the burnt face the two face look i'll say that was the most unique chucky look i think we've gotten since the stitches were introduced 
everything else of course has been more of the same they just kind of been changing the way he looks in between so I, I appreciate it that we got that burnt two-faced look so maybe we'll get something that is like that but completely different in a way i guess uh something that could be like another unique look that you can associate with his two-faced look his stitches look his regular good happy-go-lucky look uh the demented face look when he's just not when he doesn't have his stitch and he's just angry looking all the time uh so we'll see but maybe that has to do mostly with costumes some other things they could do with the series of course would be regarding the new final trio that we love regarding Devin, jake and lexi and exploring lexi's progression a little bit more because i know i've seen people talk about how they felt that her transformation from bad girl to good girl uh was a little rushed I mean, mostly that's a, I think you're going to, you can point some of that to the fact that the season's only eight seasons, but I don't think that necessarily that the way she transitions while watching the season from start to finish is rushed. It might just feel rushed when you might be accustomed to seeing these type of transitions occur over a 20 episode format or something more than just eight. So hopefully they'll flesh that out a little bit more and give us some more in-depth understanding of lexi as a person see that bond with jake form a little bit better learn what her life is like learn what jake is like of course and devin now considering that jake has lost his father his mother aunt and uncle and cousin i'm curious if jake is going to be actually staying with lexi or devin but then again devin himself lost his mother so there's a lot of things that i don't Maybe I'm missing something because I don't think they've really confirmed anything in the, to the public as it pertains to what the living situation is going to be like for these young kids at this at this stage, especially Jake and Devin. Maybe Jake will end up living with Lexi and maybe Devin goes off to live with a relative, but he still manages to just come to town uh, for visitation reasons to see his friends or just maybe he just lives out of Hackensack but still goes to school in Hackensack because of the fact that he wants to stay close with his friends for whatever reason but while living with a relative that adopts him we'll see what happens ultimately let me know what you guys think we'll learn over the course of the production down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video.